Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show it you how to connect the EC2 instance uh, using EC2 instance connect endpoint. So how we can connect uh, without a system manager. Okay, that is what I'm going to show it to you. Before that, I just wanted to show the diagram. So, so this is a diagram of um, uh, endpoint. So how we can connect. So this is whenever any users connecting to the any EC2 machines. So it is connecting to EC2 instance connect endpoint services. So this is taken care by AWS cloud. Okay. And once it is entered into the our account, that means VPC. So we are going to create a two VPCs, sorry, two subnets. Okay. Then we can connect a, any instance. It can be Linux or it can be a windows okay so let me go to the aws console okay let me search it out vpc under vpc we have a service called endpoint okay so now what what we are going to do we are going to create a vpc first okay okay so i'll just make it as a endpoint vpc i'll make it default here okay the cider range okay then if you come to the availability zone i'll be making by default two is selected so now i'm going coming to the number of public submit so i don't want any public submit the ec2 machine it should be in the private status i mean private submits so i'll be making it a zero zero and if you come to the private submits, I'll be selecting two. And if you come to the NAT key, it can be none. I don't want any available zone. Then if you come to the VPC endpoint, I'm going to select none. Okay. Let me create a VPC. Okay. So once VPC is created, let me come to the endpoint. Okay. I'm going to create an endpoint. I'll just type it my endpoint. And now I'm going to select EC2 instance connect. So this is a one. Then I'm going to select our, which is a one we have created VPC. And by default, I'm going to select security group. And here I'll be selecting one A. Okay. The same subnet we need to use it in the while launching the EC2 machine. Okay. I'll just create a endpoint. Then I'll go to EC2 machines. So I'm going to launch a EC2 machine here. I'll just type it EC2 demo. Okay. So by default, I'll be selecting Amazon Linux and I'll be selecting instance type default. I'm going to select uh, keep it if you want you can use it otherwise you can you can ignore it and now if you come to the networking section i'm going to select my vpc and i'll be selecting one year so here i'm not going to assign any public ip and i'm going to select existing vpc default one then i'm going to launch the ec2 so right now i'm going to show it to uh, how to connect a EC2 machine using the endpoint that is AWS console. Okay. So next session, I'm going to show it you how to connect through my laptop, how to connect EC2 machine from my laptop without public IP address. Okay. So this session only for how to connect EC2 machine using the AWS console without SSM agent. Okay. Let me refresh it. Let me connect here. So we are not going to uh, using session manager SSH client here. We are going to using EC2 instance connect. So here, if you come down here, connect using EC2 console. Connect. So this is if it is public IP, if it is there, we can connect it. Otherwise, we cannot connect it. So let me come to the connect using EC2 instance connect. This is the one we are talking about, right? Okay. If you come to here, there is a private IP address by default username and maximum tunnel duration it can be one hour okay you cannot change this one 
you can decrease it but you cannot maximize it if you are looking into ec2 instance connect endpoint still it is idle okay that means still our endpoint it is not created so still it is showing pending let me refresh so what we have done it till now so we have created a ec2 instance connect endpoint and we have created a private a subnet and we have created a vpc and we have created one ec2 machine okay so we need to wait for till creations let's wait for till available then we can come back so uh, the endpoint is available right now let me come to the ect section let me see it we are able to connect or not okay so it is visible the endpoint okay let me connect it here okay so right now we are in the ec2 machine okay so this is how we can connect private instance using the endpoint okay so let's stop for today's class i mean uh, from the next class i am going to show it to you how to connect uh, using the endpoint um, from my laptop okay uh, thanks everyone please dis uh, please subscribe my channel okay like and share it thanks thank you thank you very much guys bye bye